Hello, my friends. This is the S&P 500 one month overview for June 2022. It's currently uh, May 20th, 2022, 7.13 p.m. So the overall theme and behavior for the month of June for the S&P 500 is the defeat card crossed with the tower card. The defeat card is a failed attempt to break through a key resistance level, followed by a decline through a key support level. Um, and then it's crossed with a, with a tower card, which um, doesn't bode well for the month of June. Um, so we should be seeing, an er like early in the month, we should see a high. Uh, and that's where we'll be testing a resistance. And then we should see a low late in the month. Um, based on that, those two cards alone. So let's take a closer look here. On the first, we have a move higher from a support level all the way to a resistance level. So like one full range is, is move, there's a move from through one full range, um, but it does imply that there was a decline um, that this move higher comes out of. It is a substantial move, move to the upside. And then the following day on the second, we have a substantial move back down. Uh, you know, on a, on a monthly chart, it would be a notable move downward. All right, we have two trade opportunities the day of Mercury Direct, which is June 3rd or Friday the 3rd. Um, yeah, so there's going to be fluctuation throughout that day. Um, we have a trade opportunity around a peak up through a resistance level and then back back uh, shortly thereafter back down through that same price level. And there's a trade opportunity in there as well as a trade opportunity when we dip below a... Uh, support level and then we climb back to meet that support level so we like fall to a support dip through it and then we climb back up to meet to to be above that support level that, that it ends up holding um, and we should see those two two air uh, those two circumstances take place on the third both of which is a trade opportunity um, and we should see a local high on that day one local high on that day which is reached through some sideways fluctuation with a bullish um, slant to it we have Saturn retrograde over the weekend looks like there's an important trade here there's an important trade here on the on the third either at the end of the day on the third or, or early on the um, on the sixth, like early morning on the sixth, but we do have a high correlator here uh, for, for the sixth, for Monday the sixth. Um, and it goes hand in hand with the card, which is um, a, uh, it's the pleasure card. It's, it's erratic behavior around a price level. So back and forth through it. Um, but uh, we revisit a crest in that erratic behavior and that crest was a prior good opportunity not necessarily a good opportunity this time around, but it was a good opportunity. Um, and it's also crossed with the, um, the tower card. So we should see a notable decline in there somewhere. Possibly it's over the weekend and then we push higher. Um, we're range bound on Tuesday the 7th. Another month's high correlator on the 8th. So we should definitely be seeing a high, um, a month's high somewhere here between the month of, uh, or between the, the week of the 6th and the 10th. So, uh, we should definitely see the, see a month's high in there, or a notable high there. Um, and then we have the disappointment card um, on the Wednesday the 8th in that, in the midst of that high, cor that month high correlation. Um, looks like probably at the end of the day is that high and there's uh, it looks like we're going to break through resistance Everybody's expecting us to break through resistance But for whatever reason we don't we turn around and we decline through a key support level um, And that's the disappointment um, Yeah, we have the Unicursal on the 9th Unicursal on the 9th, and it's a big decline day. We revisit um, past problems. 
Uh, and it looks like we have a month's low correlator here on Friday the 10th. There's two local highs, a local low. Um, there's two local highs and a local low here on, on Monday the 10th. It's also an opportunity to position oneself on both sides of the market. So I'll be opening up calls and puts on this day. Uh, so one, at least one, and what I mean by local high is when you look at the day's chart for the 10th, you're gonna see two prominent highs and a prominent low in there. Possibly a second one based on this. I haven't quite figured out how to read, like if, if it necessarily combines with a local low or if it's considered a separate low. I, I have to look into that further, but um, at least one prominent local low um, and two local highs. Looks like we have a high at the beginning of the day. Um, and then one of those local highs, it's going to be a fake out. Uh, at least one of those local highs is going to be a brief. It's, we're going to be at that level briefly, and then we fall sharply from that level. Um, out of the local low, there's a big move to the upside. Looks like over the weekend, we get a big push higher, um, and we gap up notably uh, on the 13th. But that's a, there's a big decline on the 13th, so we gap up with notably higher, uh, possibly a month's another month's high, um, but we fall we fall deep into that uh, we fall deep out of that high into the end of the day. We have a low um, uh, days low there at the end of the day on the 13th. So sharp decline because it's crossed with the deep with the. Um, it has a correlation to the tower card. Um, it also has a correlation to a trade opportunity in the midst of a, a failure. So we fall, we fall to us, uh, fall to a support, bounce along that support, and then we we break down through multiple supports. Um, we're lower the following day on the 14th, um, but we have a fast sudden move higher in the midst of uh, marking the end of a period of volatility on the 14th. That's also the full moon. Um, and Mercury, I should mention, also enters Gemini on the 13th, on Monday the 13th. Um, that, that's no, that's, that'll be interesting to watch and see how that impacts it. And I'll look into that further. You'll see that it may be in another video. Um, we have a, another local, month's local, excuse me, another month's low correlator here on the 15th, which is a Wednesday the 15th. Uh, there's two local highs and a local low. So on a, again, on a month's or on a day's chart, if we're looking at a day's one day chart of the 15th, we'll see two prominent highs and a prominent low. Um, out of that low, another big move to the upside. Um, possibly the same price levels, guys, here um, on, on the 10th and on the 15th. There's a good chance that we pro we have the same, yeah, we, we likely have the same price levels. Um, actually, we likely have the same price level here on the 10th and on the 13th, possibly lower on the on the 15th. Um, but there, what we'll do is we'll hit a resistance, fake out, um, we'll stay above our price level briefly and then we'll break down through that and there'll be a sharp decline there. Um, after failing to break through resistance, we'll, we'll break down through an, uh, an important support level um, and the volatility will increase in volatility as we move forward throughout the day. That's the 15th. Um, the 16th, we have one prominent local low. Um, we meet the price level of the Knight of Discs, uh, which, is in, will, which will be a, an important price level. Uh, it's, it's a support level where we'll, we'll do some sideways rotation, but there'll be a fast sudden move higher out of that um, sideways rotation when we meet the low and the low will be like re we're revisiting old problems on the 16th and that'll create this decline day um, on the 17th we have another correlation here to the tower card so it looks like we um, we crisscross three times through the same price level on the 17th on the uh, it looks like towards the end of the day we may even break out or it looks like we're gonna break out through a resistance but um, over the weekend um, Either, it looks like we either have a decline from that resistance level 
most most likely we have a sharp decline from that resistance level towards the end of the day on the 17th. Um, the 20th is a little interesting, huh? The way that it fits into this. Um, well, there's definite. There's there's going to be a definite reversal if you look at it on a one month chart. There'll be a notable reversal that takes place that day. Um, looks like we. We either gap, we either gap up on on Monday the twentieth, or we move higher from early morning on Monday the twentieth. Uh, on on the twenty uh, first, Tuesday the twenty first, which is also the solstice, um, we have another correlation to the tower card. It'll be a sharp decline from a price level here, um, but we move higher through on the on the twenty first. We move higher along a diagonal trend line. We break through horizontal resistance and continue along that, that diagonal trend line to meet a second resistance level. And then we pull back to somewhere between those two price levels. Um, and from that high, we should see a, a, a sharp decline, guys. Um, we have a fake out on the 22nd at a local high um, in the midst of some sideways fluidity, roughly equal bears and bulls, equal inflow, outflow, that sort of stuff. Sideways fluidity um, as we rotate along a support level. Um, and again, there's gonna be like a fake out at, at the day's high there. Um, on the 23rd, we have two trade opportunities and a local high. Uh, the trade opportunities Interesting. The trade opportunities have to do with some. There's something going on there that has to do with an agreement between two two leaders. I want to say party leaders there. I don't know why, but um, so the local high forms after a period of sideways fluctuation with a with a upward uh, slant to it. Um, there's a trade opportunity when we move through a resistance and then we come back down briefly thereafter through that same price level and another trade opportunity in the midst of a decline having to do with something something to do with um, an agreement of some kind between two two leaders the, the overall uh, behavior for the 23rd is going to be a sideways s two declines with an incline in between so like uh, like this sideways s um, and it'll be between a resistance and a support level. On the 24th, we have a high correlator, a uh, month's high correlator again there. Um, depending on what happens here on the 16th, or sorry, depending on what happens here on the 17th and the 20th, like that weekend, because it's a little bit hard to read, but depending on what happens there, we may have just like a prominent high that forms there on the 24th, or it could be another month's high, we'll have to see. If, if we're like, if we're, if, you know, like if we're really, really deep, 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 it's, it's likely out of a decline, we have like a, like a little bit of a relief there on the 24th. It could be a month's high, because there's a month's core later there, we'll have to see. Definitely want to buy protection there on the 28th. I think I'll probably be buying protection on the 20 on the 24th or the 23rd protection. And by that I mean buying puts um, that uh, that expire out in in July somewhere. Um, this is a little. There's definitely. Advisement double like I told in two separate ways to buy protection here. Um, I'm seeing a month's high correlator here though, so somewhere here at the end of the, the week that ends in the 24th or early on the week of the the 27th. But um, we'll have to see when we get closer. There is a notable decline um, on on the 27th from a from a local high, which is a fake out as well. Um, there's a notable decline um, that continues with multiple headwinds, it looks like something global, global headwinds of some kind um, on the 28th, 
which is the new moon. Uh, again, something to do with agreement between two parties or dealings between two parties. N uh, Neptune goes retrograde there as well. Um, and then here on the um, on the 29th is where I'm getting this double advisement for protection. Uh, there's a local high and a local low. Uh, so on that chart, there'll be a local high and a local low. Uh, oh, excuse me. Let me back up on the 28th. There's also trade opportunities uh, involving that agreement between two parties. Okay, so local local high and a local low. Um, looks like we have the local high likely early in the day on the 27th or excuse me, on the 29th, uh, and we do some sideways fluctuation with a declining uh, slant to it throughout the day of the 29th, and we go from uh, from a support, from a resistance that, uh, even if it's just momentarily a resistance that becomes support, um, whether or not it holds, we'll, we'll have to look at the daily cards for that, but um, on the 20. Ninth, we, we go from that resistance that then became support briefly and then we fall sideways fluctuations falling um, and then we eventually meet the Prince of Discs level where we cash in. Um, looks like Knight of Discs price level again. It could be the same Knight of Discs depending on what the price levels are going into there or it could be um, a different Knight of Discs but we have Knight of Discs the last two days of the month. Um, this is a significant day. It looks like here on, on the uh, on the first. Uh, so I'm advised to be cautious on the thirtieth. There's a local low there on the thirtieth at that night of discs price level, and there's going to be multiple false, most likely multiple multiple false bottoms or multiple false tops. One of the two, probably most multiple false tops, matter of factly. And then we move into uh, July 1st with that local high from which we fall. Um, there's a bit of a rally there, and then we fall out of that rally. So that's that the 30th and the 1st, somewhere in there, marks an opportunity to open up some puts as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm being advised to cash in on long any long positions that I have short-term long positions that I have, you know, uh, swing trades, if you will. I'm being advised to, to cash in on those somewhere here around that high on the 23rd or the 24th. No, actually it's here. I mean, I could do it again there, but this is really where the, the high that's here on that week of the 6th to the 10th, somewhere in there, um, this devil price level where we where we hit the the indolence that's likely where um, that wherever that fake out takes place and then we have it again it recurs somewhere around there um, I'll be cashing in and then I should be riding puts all the way into July from that point not looking like a good month jeez. All right, guys, so that's um, the S&P 500 for June 2022. Uh, thanks for signing up for the uh, free newsletter. Um, let me know how you like this, guys. You can always um, reply to the emails or you can hit us up on social media. Um, let me know if you like this sort of stuff. Let me know how we can make it better. Let me know what else you want to see. Um, I'm doing this to really prove to you guys that anything is possible. You guys pay attention to the stock market. It's kind of fun, you know, plus nobody else on the planet seems to have figured it out yet. So... You know, that's why I'm doing it. You tell me what, what's going to blow your mind and I'll see what I can do. Um, until then, my friends, good luck. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.